Yo, what is going on guys? My name's Jay Phantom. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to see was it worth it making Super Saiyan Cabbage 100% in the dupe system. So as you can see, I have 100%ed him with a rainbow star. You guys want to know, should you put orbs into this card? So I put in the effort to make him 100% for you guys. And we're going to see together, was it worth it? So right now he better be, I'm out of tech orbs because of him. So if he doesn't do over a million damage, then I'd be pretty disappointed. But you guys wanted to know, and I'm here to help. So HP is now 10,486, attack is 10,198, and defense is 7,189. So pretty average. His leader skill is the Super Saiyan Angel Goku, tech type, HP attack, and defense plus 30%. No key though, so you won't be using him as a leader, but I guess he does provide some sort of stats, so... It is better than some other leaders that I've seen previously. His super attack is Gallic Gun, extreme damage to the enemy. And then his passive skill is attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. So I guess that's the reason why you wanted to know if you should put orbs into him because he has a percentage based attack boost. But I don't think it is right now. I don't even know how much he does. I just maxed him out a few minutes ago. So it's a learning experience for both me and you. And if this works out, then I'll probably ask for a next suggestion of who to 100%. But for now, we'll see. I gave him level 20 crit, level 6 additional because, well, tech characters can get level 20 crit. So why not? His link set is Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Ray, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Pride, and Warriors of the Universe 6. His attack links are Saiyan Pride, Super Saiyan, and Saiyan Warrior Race, which is the useless one, attack plus 700. So I made a team based around these links to help him get his max amount of damage. So we'll quickly go through them. We have Krillin, because he provides 60% stats for all tech types as his leader ability, and he can provide an attack boost of 20%, which can come in helpful. Then we have, of course, Cabbage. Then we have the Super Saiyan World Tournament Goku. He provides an attack boost of 15%. I wish I had him awakened. I said this in my Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku showcase. I'm missing one World Tournament medal. But other than that, I guess I just have to wait till the next World Tournament to arrive. He has the Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Super Saiyan, and Golden Warrior, which isn't a tackling, but it's still a link anyway. Then we have Bardock. He's pretty much the Super Saiyan Goku, but he has no passive to increase the attack of his allies, but he does have the same pride, so kind of acts the same. So either way, any of the two Super Saiyans we have here linked up will do the same, provide the same amount of stat boost, I'm pretty sure, but we want Bardock because links happen after passives, which means bigger increase. I'm pretty sure that's the formula. Then we have Jackie Chan. His passive provides tech types, attack and defense plus 25%. And then Mighty Mask is great lower defense because it might increase the damage output. I still don't even know. And then we have Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku for our leader for the 120% stat boost. So let's get started. We're only doing a small, simple event because Cabbage is not worth doing, you know, the top tier guys. So we're doing the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, not the Angel one, but the regular one. Just because, I mean, we should get the right rotation really quickly. It's just him and Cab uh, Bardock and Cabbage, which are completely in separate places. So that kind of sucks. All I need to know is how much he crits for. If it's over a million, then great. If it's not, then that kind of sucks. So I guess we'll just not super attack because we do only start with three keys. So I just want to save as much as possible. And we'll put Bardock last because then in the end, he will meet up with Cabbage in three turns. Strategy 101. We'll knock out this guy next turn. Or this turn, actually. We actually got a lot of key for... Wow. I'm going to put these two together, though. At least with this, Krillin actually has a chance to increase the attack by quite some bits. And I don't know why I'm saving orbs now because we're going to knock him out and the orbs will reset. Alright, so this is normal. 513,000 on a neutral typing critical. Alright, so we just have to pray that he gets a critical here. I know that 
one super attack should knock him out. Like, for sure. Like, no doubt. Uh, we'll put Jackie Chan last. I want to see how it goes. Great lower his defense. Might as well. See how much he can do. We're hoping for 1 million. If it's not 1 million, guys, then I do not recommend putting any orbs into him. Just leave it be. Not even a great card. As you can see, wow, we're doing so much. This event has aged very badly. All it's scary about is the countdown, but even that is, like, terrible. Alright. So, passive didn't activate. I uh, wouldn't care anyway, so... We're going to just replace it with this Bulma. We'll just pretend it's Jackie Chan or something like that. And we'll just do that. And we'll just do that. So, here it is. This will knock him out for sure. 400,000. We got type advantage. 695,000. Normal. So, I think it would close into 1 million very easily. So I would say it will just hit like 900,000 to a million. I mean, I could go again, but I really don't want to. <laughs> but I'll leave it to you guys to decide was he worth it or not. You saw the critical on type neutral, on neutral type. So base it off of this video. And if you guys want, I mean, I will don't want to, but if you guys really, really want to, uh, suggest another unit I can 100%. I don't have any AGL or tech orbs available, so I would highly suggest you ask for a physical unit because I can do that instantly, but I can do strength and ints very soon. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around, but as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fizzy. Peace out.